This is News 3 Now, live at 4, moving forward. Good afternoon and welcome to Live at 4. We're tracking severe weather looking to enter our area late tomorrow. We're calling an alert day tomorrow for possible severe storms across much of southern Wisconsin. Is that a live picture there, Alex? Yeah, it's a beautiful outside now. But change is on the way. What's going on? Oh, yeah, definitely change is on the way. When you look at those uh, beautiful sky cams, courtesy of Queen Bee, you're wondering, okay, with those pretty sunny skies, where are these storms right now? But we are eyeing up later Wednesday afternoon going into Thursday for a stormy period for at least a good portion of southern Wisconsin. And warm and humid conditions lasting all the way out into next week is going to keep this train of shower and thunderstorm activity. So first to let you know, it's going to be a busy next 7 to 10 days across southern Wisconsin. And with that, that again, beautiful picture over Platteville. There's an outside chance of a strong storm, this a strong storm, if I can get my words together this evening, but it's a very, very tiny chance. Radar 3000 not showing anything right now. Future track keeping us dry. I mentioned this last night that I think that this front tonight is going to come through dry with beautiful temperatures out there. Low to mid 70s, a little warmer out towards Prairie du Chien where they've had more in the way of that sunshine. Here we've got 70 to 73 across Dane County and overall a nice night tonight with that outside chance of a strong storm or two. But just as Susan was mentioning, later Wednesday going into Thursday, we're eyeing up the potential for a couple of rounds of strong to severe storms coming up in Maine weather. I'm going to show you what some of those projections using future track, we're going to track them together, may be like for tomorrow night. All right, we'll check back in a little bit, Alex. Thank you. The mass shooting that injured 12 at a downtown Madison apartment complex on Sunday is sparking concerns about security there. Our Maddie Himes has more on the investigation into the building's management team and its safety measures. Maddie? Yeah, Susan, Armand, we know that the rooftop party Saturday night into very early Sunday morning that led to gunfire was, quote, unauthorized by the Lux apartment complex and allegedly wasn't even hosted by residents of the building. But for those who have lived at the Lux, this news is unsurprising. Um, online reviews show complaints about building security go back more than five years. I spoke with Madison's principal city planner to learn more about what the city can do when complexes like these cause public safety issues. There is a, a, a review, an ongoing review, and it's referred to as continuing jurisdiction. So that would ensure that a development needs to operate as approved by the city's plan commission. The applicant made certain commitments that the applicant is, is operating the business um, in line with those commitments that are made. Those commitments made back when the complex was proposed in 2014 include a roof rooftop management plan and on-site management and security. The proposal even goes on to cite that security as a reason for, quote, very little need for police calls at the apartment. Now, on whether or not those commitments are being held up, I speak more with the city planner and Chief Sean Barnes coming up on News 3 Now at 5. Maddie, thank you. We have an update on the Sunday shooting that put two people in the hospital. Police are identifying a person of interest in the case. Officers are looking for 37-year-old Jerome Jacobs. He was last seen in Eau Claire, but he evaded police while they were chasing him. Police are looking to talk to Jacobs in connection to a shooting on Andrew Way and Trafalgar Place that injured two. One was left in critical condition. Jacobs currently has a felony warrant. The recent shootings in Madison sparks the question, what is local law enforcement doing to stop the gun violence? Jalen Banks caught up with Madison Police Chief Sean Barnes today to try to get those answers. Jalen, what did you learn from the chief? Susan and Armand, over the past decade, Madison police have recovered nearly 800 guns. And Police Chief Sean Barnes says this includes guns turned into the department due to age or mental health concerns. In a study done by Public Health Madison and Dane County, half of adults report being impacted by gun violence either directly or indirectly. And speaking to Chief Barnes, he says the department is doing all it can to get that number down. And that's a combination of things. Uh, number one, uh, each district captain uh, has a, a plan and identified area where they go out and they do community outreach, they do uh, increased patrols. We established a couple of years ago when I first got here a gang neighborhood crime abatement team. 
Another tactic Chief Barnes plans to continue to implement is community youth outreach. And later at 5, we'll hear more from Chief Barnes, and I'll dive deeper into the health agency's gun violence study. We will see you at 5, Jalen. Thank you. The jury in the gun trial of Hunter Biden has found him guilty on three felony gun charges. Jurors came to their decision after deliberating for only about three hours. Nicole Skanga is outside the federal courthouse in Wilmington, Delaware, with the details. Now a convicted felon, Hunter Biden left the courthouse after the jury found him guilty on three counts of possessing a gun while being a drug user and making false statements about his drug use when buying the gun. No one in this country is above the law. Everyone must be accountable for their actions, even this defendant. During six days of testimony, the jury heard from a parade of witnesses, including members of the Biden family. Jurors also heard audio excerpts from Hunter Biden's memoir. I used my superpower, finding crack anytime, anywhere. Biden's defense told the jury he considered himself in recovery and no longer a drug user when he bought the firearm. Hunter Biden obviously wanted to avoid this moment. He is facing prison time. I don't think that he will face the maximum of 25 years. I don't think the prosecution's going to ask for the maximum of 25 years. The jury, made up of six men and six women, did not ever hear directly from Hunter Biden. He chose not to take the stand. Hunter Biden's wife, the first lady, and other relatives were fixtures in the courtroom, showing up to support him. In closing arguments, the prosecution urged the jury to ignore them and the media, adding, people sitting in the gallery are not evidence. After the verdict, President Biden released a statement saying he loves his son and he will accept the outcome of the case and respect the judicial process. Nicole Skanga, CBS News, Wilmington, Delaware. No sentencing date has been set yet, and Hunter Biden's team is expected to appeal. Former President Donald Trump is once again trying to get the classified documents case against him dismissed. A federal grand jury last year indicted Trump on charges of taking classified national defense documents from the White House after he left office. He's also accused of resisting the government's attempts to get them back. Yesterday, Trump's legal team filed a motion saying that the boxes of documents were tampered with in the FBI's search of Mar-a-Lago in 2022. They claim that investigators failed to keep documents in order. The trial is currently on an indefinite hold. Coming up next on Live at 4, it is officially summer in the 608. And that means it's time to get out to the local pools. Josh Ryder joins us with a look at why pools are such a staple in the community when Live at 4 returns. Let the design team at Wanaki Furniture ETC help you find your inspiration and transform your room. Every style, every budget, our creativity, passion, and expertise will help you design your dream space. Bring quality home at Wanaki Furniture ETC. It's coming. Predicted to be one of the hottest summers ever. And you can't enjoy anything when your house is too hot, especially when you get that big utility bill. So what do you do? You stop the hot air from coming in and your cool air from leaking out. With USA Premium Foam in your walls, your old hot and humid house really can be made comfortable. Call now, and when we foam your walls, we'll insulate your attic for free. Stop sweating and start saving. USA Insulation. GA, the advanced form of dry age-related macular degeneration can irreversibly damage your vision. It can progress faster than you think. When GA threatens your eyes, take a stand. Slow GA with Cyfovri. Cyfovri is an eye injection that was proven to slow damaging lesion growth over two years with increasing effect over time. It's the only FDA approved treatment to slow GA in as few as six doses per year. Don't take Cyfovri if you have an infection or active swelling in or around your eye that may include pain and redness. Cyfovri can cause serious side effects such as eye infection and retinal detachments, severe inflammation of vessels in the retina which may result in severe vision loss, wet AMD, eye inflammation, and an increase in eye pressure. Most common side effects are eye discomfort, wet AMD, small specks floating in vision, and blood in the white of the eye. Tell your doctor right away if you have any side effects. Every moment counts. Act now to slow GA with Cyfovri. 
Ask your retina specialist about Sifovri. We're looking for 200 homeowners this month interested in getting new landscape borders. Our cutting edge materials and installation process ensures that your borders will not fade, discolor, or disconnect and will look beautiful for years to come. All covered by our extensive lifetime warranty. Visit the website or call the number for your new borders today. Memories matter. This bend on Cox Hollow Lake was one of Dad's favorite fishing holes. Crest Funeral and Cremation Service helped us make sure he's never forgotten. Making it personal, it's how you heal. We are Cress. We truly believe your memories matter. Let the design team at Wanaki Furniture ETC turn your design dreams into reality. With customized solutions and quality products, our passion and expertise will help turn your room into a dream space. Bring quality home at Wanaki Furniture ETC. With the first week of summer already underway for many parents in our area, questions about keeping their kids healthy are bound to appear. UW Health is sharing their expert opinion on how to do just that. The biggest tip it has is to keep your kids in a regular schedule. That includes a normal bedtime and talking to your kids about how to best structure their time. That structure could come from hobbies or even a summer job. Another big issue to discuss with them is social media use. We're setting limits on social media is going to be important to make sure that um, kids can get outside every day. Um, encouraging them to have um, get involved in activities that they love, whether that be sports or volunteering or summer camps. Experts say it's okay to let your kids use social media for some time, but make sure they put it down when they're out in the world enjoying the summer. A new hotel is opening up in downtown Madison. The Embassy Suites is a 262-room hotel made up of exclusively two-room suites. It's located downtown on South Pinckney Street, just a few blocks from the Capitol and Monona Terrace. And as the Monona Terrace looks to attract more group business, this facility will help the uh, Monona Terrace and Destination Madison, along with the Hilton, attract larger groups to the area. Reservations currently start around $170 a night. The hotel is set to open June 20th. In more local news, the Sun Prairie Public Library is taking the first steps to grow with the community. Today, the library held a groundbreaking for the expansion project. The new space is geared towards the ever-growing community that is Sun Prairie and will include spaces for everyone. That includes a maker space, teen room, and expanded youth programming space. Just having more physical space is really important for us to continue doing what we do for the community, continue offering these great programs. Um, and then also just the physical book collection. I know back in 2000, a lot of people were saying libraries are going to die, print is going to die. That is just not true. The project is funded by a collaboration between the Public Library and the Sun Prairie Public Library Foundation, which is holding a $3.5 million fundraising effort to continue the expansion. Let's get a check on the weather now. Getting a little cloudy this afternoon here in the Madison area. Alex is wearing the red glasses, yes. and you know what that means. Yep. Alert day. Again, another set of alert days. And Susan, you were right. We had clouds through much of the day, but those clouds are breaking apart. Some sunshine out over towards Platteville. We're keeping an eye on a cold front moving towards the area. It's a weak cold front, and I was mentioning last night that I think that this front and radar 3000 not showing anything out towards the Mississippi River would likely come through dry. And I think that's going to be the case. An outside chance of an isolated shower or thunderstorm this evening, but I think most of us are going to stay dry this evening. That'll be a very different story as we go on into your Wednesday evening. Beautiful temperatures, low to mid 70s, a little bit warmer off to the west, 78 in Bosqueville and 76 in Prairie du Chien, where they have had that time for the sun to come out and warm things up a little bit more. But probably no complaints with 72 to 73 across all of Dane County and planning the rest of your night tonight. Pretty nice. That outside chance of a shower or a thunderstorm, most places will stay dry. I've probably repeated that now at least three or four times. Temperatures climbing, or excuse me, falling down into the upper 60s by the time we get to 10 o'clock. 
But let's focus now on the next stuff, the next set of alert day conditions. Wednesday going on into Thursday, strong to severe thunderstorms expected for all of southern Wisconsin. This weather system is way off to the west, off over portions of the Rockies, but it's going to race towards the east very quickly on Wednesday, bringing a complex of thunderstorms, a cluster of thunderstorms. I'll show that to you with future track in just a moment. Madison and points off to the northwest right now under a marginal risk of severe weather for Wednesday. The threat for tornadoes not out of the question north and west of Madison but better chances for strong winds and hail as you note Madison Platteville areas off towards the northwest and the better chances for this line of thunderstorms Wednesday evening well what could that look like by three four o'clock we're seeing one line of thunderstorms stretching from Juneau and Adams counties over to the southwest towards Viroqua sweeping again targeting very much Madison and points off towards the west southwest Wisconsin very likely could be the target for this line of thunderstorms with maybe additional storms developing as we go into the wee hours of your Thursday morning. We call this a training event, meaning storm after storm. That could mean some heavy rainfall across portions of southern Wisconsin as well. We'll be keeping a very close tab on the track of that cluster of storms, which very well, as I mentioned yesterday, could clear it all out on Thursday and not allowing us to warm up enough for that redevelopment on Thursday. Hopefully that's the case so we don't have two days of severe weather. Alert day is Wednesday going on into your Thursday. We may drop the alert day on Thursday if the storms on Wednesday kind of uh, and pollute the environment and keep things from getting too exciting on Thursday. But as we go out beyond that, Father's Day and beyond, this, the steam bath turns on, and that is the perfect environment for more storms, which it looks stormy next week. All right, Alex, thank you. It is the first week of summer break for many kids in the 608, and that means the pools and the splash pads will be buzzing with families. That sounds great right now. Josh Spriders in Madison with how the summer is looking. We are thinking summer thoughts at Goodman Pool as the summer season is in full swing for families as we approach the first week of summer here at Goodman Pool. We have Shane Martin is the aquatic supervisor. Shane, good to see you. Good to see you too. So we're talking about the summer season. You guys are gearing up uh, for a really busy year in 2024. Absolutely. How much work goes into, you know, getting ready for a big season like this? I've done almost 60 lifeguard interviews, um, dozens of special tenant interviews, um, we've planned with the state, maintenance workers, chlorine, chemical companies, everything to get the pool up and ready, water, um, third party contractors to install lifeguard stands, clean the slides, power wash the deck, tons and tons and tons of work have gone into it. So you're saying you don't just show up and open up the pool? No, no, I've been doing this for about <laughs> a solid three months now. You know, when you talk about this, this is such a special pool for Madison in general here at Goodman. I mean, this has been such a integral part of the community. Why is it so important to have something like this for community members? That's just something to get back to. Swimming is a lifelong skill. Um, we have one of the most dangerous lakes in the country in Lake Michigan in our backyard. And if we can offer a place where people can come and swim uh, under the supervision of lifeguards and we can teach them how to swim with swim lessons um, with our partners at MSTR, it's just a huge, huge resource for the community. Yeah. How can families coming out to you know, ensure their safety yeah. this summer? Yeah, so we have lifeguards. Um, we've done several recertifications um, earlier this spring. We had um, full boot camp, as we call it, training um, a couple weekends ago to ensure all of the staff are on the same page. Um, so they know all the rules, expectations, uh, what I expect of them, and how to respond to the emergencies. And then we have weekly in-service trainings uh, twice a week for our staff to keep them fresh on their skills. You also have a new behavior policy this summer. So what does that uh, really mean for folks? Yeah, so it's just uh, it sets out um, a series of guidelines um, and expectations for folks out that when they come here, we accept them to act in a certain way because it all comes down to safety and I can't have my lifeguards constantly enforcing rules on just one set of people when they have to wash their entire water. Yeah, we want to make sure that we have a safe yep. summer this year. Absolutely. That's All right. Our goal. Shay Martin, thank you so much. We appreciate your time. If you'd like to learn more about what's happening at Goodman Pool or the Splash Parks, you can go to this story up on channel3000.com. We're getting into the summer spirit in the 608. I'm Josh Breider. News 3 now. Josh, you look so great. That's fun. <laughs> Summer is here. Coming up next at 4, vacations are getting harder to come by right at a time when most of us need them the most. That's right. Start, start a summer break. We're sitting down with UW Health's distinguished psychologist, Shiloh Mergain, to discuss new evidence for the health benefits of vacations when Live at 4 returns. 
We've got the power. At the Power Centers of Medicine, you can get the job done with Gravely and Aaron's power equipment. Acre after acre, year after year, Gravely and Aaron's can help you get the job done right. We've got the power. Middleton and Sun Prairie. I'm going to take real good care of your windows. You need the experts at Feldco. Right now at Feldco, get two windows for the price of one. Call now. Call 866 for Feldco. Shop from the largest selection of Chevy trucks and SUVs in Wisconsin at Bergstrom Chevrolet. All with Bergstrom's negotiation-free upfront pricing, including our exclusive seven-day price protection and money-back guarantees. Stop in or shop and purchase at bergstromchevrolet.com. This right here is confidence in a bottle. It makes me feel so much more confident than I've ever felt. They are some of the hottest videos on social media. Those videos claiming to instantly get rid of bags under your eyes. Annette Figueroa is here to tell us why she says... This one is for real. This one is for real, and I'm so excited. We even have a video, and all he uses is a small amount on a clean, dry face. And what it does is it tightens and lifts the appearance of bags underneath your eyes. And I did this to my father. We were at home, so we applied it to his under-eye bags. And let me tell you, we were so excited. In under 10 minutes, they visibly disappeared from view. And now it is literally part of both of our daily routines. And not only does it work on the bags, it works on the appearance of crow's feet, fine lines, and wrinkles. At our $14.95 price, it's the best way to try Plexiderm and see it work after your first application. Your solution is at PlexidermTrial.com or call the number on your screen. I'm so happy I just put this dress on that I haven't worn in over 10 years. This summer, feel confident from head to toe with Sonobello Permanent Fat Removal and get summer body ready in just one visit. I saw the results immediately. It's the best I have felt since I was in my 20s. My waist is tiny. So I'm very, very happy. I'm nearly 50, y'all, and my abs haven't been this flat since before I had kids. For a limited time, take advantage of Sonobello's biggest sale of the year. Sonobello's board-certified surgeons use micro-laser technology to safely target and remove your diet-resistant fat cells for good on your stomach, hips and thighs, back, and so much more. It will change your life. It did for me. I can't wait till the summertime hit. Hot mom summer, here I come. Call 1-800-905-6520 now or go to sonobello.com to claim special pricing. We've got the power. At the Power Centers of Medicine, you can get the job done with Gravely and Aaron's power equipment. Acre after acre, year after year, Gravely and Aaron's can help you get the job done right. Middleton and Sun Prairie. We know gas prices are going up, the economy going down, and it seems really hard to justify a vacation when times are tight. It's true, but now more than ever, we need to take a break, most of us anyway, from our stressed out lives. Vacations are not simply a luxury, there's increasing evidence they're a key part of good health. UW Health's distinguished psychologist, Shiloh Mergain, is here with why. Thanks so much for coming, The Shia. best news we've heard all day. We <laughs> need to take a vacation. <laughs> yeah, the Pew Research Center found that of all working Americans with paid vacation, 46% of them were not taking their crude time off. And as we'll talk, I want to encourage people to block that time, take that time. It's good for your overall well-being. Why is it so important? Well, the first is I think it helps us step out of our autopilot pilot. It gives us a, a different perspective when we travel to different places. We see that strength of the human spirit and the diversity of different languages or cultures or foods or even just a different town. And I think we feel more interconnected. And when we return home, we have fresh eyes with which we can see our problems and probably some creativity of how to address them. Mm -hmm. I think that's very true. There's also a, a large body of research and science that Traveling or taking a vacation, taking a break is actually good for your heart. Yeah, there is a landmark Framington heart study that found men who don't take their annual vacation were 30% more likely to die of a heart attack than men who took that annual vacation. And women don't fare much better. We found women who once every six years took, took a vacation were eight times more likely to develop heart disease or have a heart attack than women who took vacation twice a year mm, so you know and it's also good for our mental health too we find that within a day or two we probably can all appreciate this within a day or two we feel significantly 
less stress. Mm -hmm. We feel that joy. We feel that boost. It helps us not burn out and kind of brings back a sense of vitality when we can just get that time off. We don't even have to travel, even a staycation. <laughs> <laughs> Taking that time off, maybe doing something around town that you wouldn't normally can also give uh, equal benefit. Yeah. yeah, I just enjoy the mindset of just packing for a vacation. It always exactly. Makes you feel it already makes you feel better. Yeah. And there's research that shows the happiest times are actually when we're planning a trip. <laughs> And certainly if we look back over our lives, the happiest moments were when we're traveling, especially as children, mm -hmm. those times we have with our parents and family. And times are tight now and budgets are strapped, but like you said, you don't have to do anything elaborate. Maybe even just enjoying some of the sights around Madison just to take a break would probably be beneficial as well, right? Yeah, there's so many free things. This the natural, our city parks, county parks, going camping. It doesn't have to cost a lot, but ste stepping away from work, putting down the phone, just being present and having that sense of wonder around the world, the kind of mystery of different places. And they always say the secret is not uh, seeking new landscapes, but having new eyes. So even if you're st having that staycation, go somewhere and try to see it from a fresh perspective. Mm. Definitely, and also helps, I mean, if you go with your whole family, kind of can help your relationships too. Absolutely, I think it really can bond you when you're uh, going to new places and you're having to figure out where to go or your, your airline flight was delayed. And I think you learn a lot about somebody with how they travel. Um, and again, I think those are the memories that stick, that uh, those experiences. So certainly families carve out that time with your kids. You never wish you worked more on your deathbed, instead mm -hmm. you wish you would have taken that time to be present. You have a fun see. trip coming up with your daughter. I do. In August, we're going to see one of my dearest friends out in California, and we're Aww. so excited. It's been 10 years since I've seen her, so we Aww. said we're blocking the time. We're just going. Oh, that's exciting. Yeah. And you're going to Disney, too. Yes, we're going to <laughs> Disney. Bonus. My friend has a free tickets and a free place to stay, so we're going. <laughs> great advice. Have a great summer. Aww, thank yes, you. Have a wonderful trip. Yeah, happy traveling, everyone. Thank you, Shiloh. And coming up next on Live at 4, it's moving season here in Madison, and that means junk being left on the side of the road. Oh boy, it's already here. Have you seen it downtown? City officials say they, they'll tell us how they're handling the waste this year and what we can all do with yours when Live at 4 returns. I'm Tammy Baldwin, and I approve this message. I'm 82. 86. 90 years young. Eric Hovde thinks people like us shouldn't be able to vote. If you're in a nursing home, you only have five, six month life expectancy. Almost nobody in a nursing home is in a point to vote. Son, I've served this country. I think I can handle a ballot. What a jerk. Eric Hovde, I'm fully aware of whom I'm voting for, and it won't be you. to Buzzed Into Madison and June Dairy Month. Another week in June, which means another dairy farm. This week, we are with Sydney here in Lodi at Jazzy Jerseys. And I mean, just take a look at this beautiful setting behind us. You grew up here, now you're working here, you're living here. What does this, what does this land mean to you? Well, this, this land and this farm, it means family. This is where I grew up. I have so many memories here. And now that I came back to the farm, I'm working with my dad and brother every single day day to hopefully make this an option for our families in the future. Mm -hmm. So since we saw you last time, you have gotten married, but you're doing this full time for the last year and a half. How has that changed this? It's, it's a different lifestyle than I was sure. used to, but it is enjoyable. We get to see our work that we've done, the result of it directly, and watching my husband fall in love with farming and the lifestyle has been so enjoyable. Well, you've loved this lifestyle and have loved the cows since you were so young, so I'm sure to see the man you're in love with fall in love with it is like, okay, this is what it was meant to be. And to watch him learn, too, about cows, about our farming practices that we're doing in the field. He loves it. I love watching it. It's, it's very enjoyable. How do you connect your farm with the community? Well, the community is important to us. We need to be good neighbors. And so we have really enjoyed the last couple of years getting involved with our farmer's market and getting to directly connect our community to their local food. 
Craft. How can viewers help support you? What can they buy in the grocery store? Well, we want you to buy cheese. That is where our milk goes to, but any dairy product. Dairy is delicious and nutritious. And we want you to celebrate dairy in Wisconsin. So visit wisconsindairy.org to find a local event near you in June. From Jazzy Jerseys in Lodi, I'm Emmy Fink, and you're, and you're buzzed, buzzed into, into Madison. Madison. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. You're watching News 3 Now live at 4, moving forward. Let's take a look outside on this Tuesday afternoon. This is a nice sight in Madison. Two friends doing a little fishing. Brought the dog out on yeah, the pier. Three friends. <laughs> right, yeah, right, exactly. The start of a stormy period are the weather words. And Alex is here now with when are things starting to change? They'll start to change by the time we get to about this time tomorrow night. Outside chance of a shower thunderstorm tonight, Susan and folks. But the better chances will really begin Wednesday night going on into your Thursday. And then we have a little brief reprieve before those thunderstorm chances come back later Saturday, Saturday night going on into Friday. Father's Day. The weekend is not expected to be a washout. There will be some dry time, but there will be thunderstorm chances over the weekend that you may want to start to start thinking about preparing to have at least a shelter in case one of those storms pops up in your neighborhood. So a stormy period is on the way, and that's just not even the start of it. That's maybe about half of it. Our 10-day forecast coming up in Maine weather will look at the overall extended period and how stormy it looks overall. Nothing really super stormy about tonight. An isolated shower or storm. Temperatures fall Falling down into the upper 60s, so overall a nice night. You can still go out and probably do some fishing yet this evening. Coming up in Maine weather, though, we're going to track this big cluster of thunderstorms that's expected to move through the Midwest as early as later on your Wednesday, and then also how that cluster of storms may impact Thursday's alert day conditions. I have those details in a few minutes. All right, thank you, Alex. And summertime means people are on the move, and that includes moving to new homes and apartments, but sometimes they leave things behind. Our Merrill Hubbard spoke with Madison City officials to find the best process for getting rid of your furniture instead of just dumping it by the curb. It's a furniture frenzy here downtown with abandoned items scattered all across the city. This is a reminder that there are consequences for abandoning your couches and a process for curbside pickup. In the city of Madison, there are two main ways to take care of items you no longer need. The city has drop-off sites on Sycamore Avenue, South Point, and Olin Avenue. But if your items are too big to transport, curbside pickup may be a better option. To do this, you need to submit a work order form, or you can call the city to schedule a pickup time. The city says to submit the work order before leaving your stuff by the street. Items can wind up being out there for two or three weeks before we have the ability to, to collect, and that's when things look worse than any of us wanted to. If items are left outside without notice, you could be on the receiving end of a fine. The city is also working on more repercussions for multiple violations. We're going to make it financially not in your best interest to continue to do things the wrong way. If you don't choose to do curbside pickup, there are other options like donating to local thrift stores or local retailers. I'm Meryl Hubbard, News 3 Now. And it is completely free to get your curbside pickup for your items. You can find the work order form at cityofmadison.com forward slash streets. Following yesterday's Apple Expo, two indexes are on the rise, but the Dow Jones fell 120 points as investors await an inflation report. The Nasdaq closed up 151. The S&P was up 14. Well, ask any fan, the struggle to watch every game that you want to is real. That's you, big yes. sport, biggest sport. <laughs> Sports fan I know you often can't watch the game you want to because maybe you cut the cord or you don't have the right streaming service so what is a fan like me I guess to do consumer reports has a play-by-play -play of your options so you can decide if it's worth the cost last fall Jackie Wadno signed up for NBC's Peacock streaming app just so he could watch the Buffalo Bills in the playoffs but then he forgot about it and kept paying terrible that I'm just wasting that money. I actually went on while I was on the plane and canceled it because it kept getting a hit for it. Yes, gone are the days, it seems, of watching sports on your local channels. With leagues signing exclusive deals with networks and local blackout restrictions, it's not always easy to know which combination of subscriptions you need. And those often change, but here's a good breakdown for now. 
football fans. If your team is in your city, you might be able to watch it on your local TV stations. ABC, CBS, NBC, and Fox for free. You can also stream these channels on many services like DirecTV Stream, Hulu, and YouTube TV. You might consider ESPN or ESPN Plus for Monday night games. If you don't live near your team, the NFL Sunday ticket is an option for $349 offered by YouTube TV. Baseball fans might consider MLB.TV's single-team package, but you'll get a better deal with the all-teams package for just $20 more. If you're rooting for your home team, find the streaming service that offers the regional sports network with the rights to broadcast. If it's NBA games you're looking for, a TV package that includes national channels will cover a lot of NBA games. You might find the game on YouTube TV or Hulu for less money. There's also the NBA League Pass for $14.99 a month. WNBA is $12.99 a month. If you only want to watch one game, it's tough to justify signing up for even a monthly subscription. And if you do that, don't forget to cancel it so you're not charged next month. It might just be cheaper to watch it at a local sports bar. Go to friends' houses uh, is the big thing. Like, we all get together on a few different subscriptions. This is Ashley Prieto. And in case you're hoping to split the cost by sharing passwords with someone else, many of these services are cracking down on that practice. So there's a good chance your account could be suspended. Well, coming up next on Live at 4, lawmakers working to get American citizens back on U.S. soil. This comes after multiple college staff were stabbed during a visit to China. We'll give you the details next when Live at 4 returns. We've got the power. At the Power Centers of Madison, you can get the job done with Skag Commercial Power Equipment. If your business is lawn care, you can trust Skag. Simply the best. We've got the power. Middleton and Sun Prairie. It's going to be another sizzling hot summer. Don't burn up your money on high energy bills. Get new energy efficient windows from Champion. We have saved 25 to 30 percent on our energy bill since installing the windows, which blew my mind. Stay cool and save 35 percent off new Champion windows. Plus, get an extra hundred dollars off every window. The more you buy, the more you save. Save 35 percent off your new Champion windows and a hundred dollars off every window you buy. Call 888 Champion or schedule your free in-home estimate online today. It's Empire Today's biggest sale. The 50-50-50 sale. 50% off carpet and flooring, 50% off padding and materials, and 50% off installation. 800-588-2300 Empire Today. Announcing Madison Magazine's Best of Madison Readers Poll for 2024. Vote for the Best of Madison online today, including First Choice Dental for Best Dental Practice and Best Orthodontic Practice. Vote for First Choice Dental on madisonmagazine.com. If your windows are leaky and drafty, it's possible they weren't installed properly. Many installers lack proper training, and shoddy installation leaves your home vulnerable to extreme weather. At Next Door and Window, we're reinventing window installation. Our approach ensures your windows are sealed tight and energy efficient. And your windows and doors will be installed by certified experts who treat your home as if it was their own. When you demand tomorrow's comfort, Next delivers. Visit nextwindow.com to learn more. We've got the power. At the Power Centers of Madison, you can get the job done with Skag Commercial Power Equipment. If your business is lawn care, you can trust Skag. Simply the best. We've got the power. Middleton and Sun Prairie. New at 5, we continue coverage of the three separate shootings in less than three days. News 3 Now sits down with Madison's police chief for an in-depth discussion on gun violence in our own backyard. An isolated strong storm is possible by the Mississippi River Tuesday evening. Better chances for stronger storms Wednesday going into Thursday. The impacts you can expect at 6. And ahead at 6, the recent shooting at the Lux Apartments isn't the first security issue the complex has had. We dive deep into the management practices and hold the company accountable. That's tonight at 6.
U.S. lawmakers are working to bring four Americans home from China after they were wounded in a stabbing attack. Chinese officials are calling it a random attack. Roxana Saberi reports, and we want to warn our viewers, the footage is graphic. Footage verified by CBS News shows at least three of the injured American victims Monday. One soaked in blood on the ground in northeast China's Jilin City after the reported stabbing. The president of Cornell College in Mount Vernon, Iowa, said all four victims were instructors in China as part of a partnership with the university there and that no students were involved in the program. Cornell has not released the victims' names but said they were injured during a daytime visit to a public park while accompanied by a faculty member of the Chinese school. Iowa State Representative Adam Zabner told CBS News one of the victims is his brother, David. He said the group was visiting a local temple when they were attacked by a man with a knife, adding that David is doing okay and recovering at the hospital. Three of the victims, including Zabner, have family in Iowa, Congresswoman Marionette Miller-Meeks District. It's really shocking, but at the same point in time, we don't want to jump to any conclusions. We want to be able to work uh, with uh, the Chinese government to be able to get these people back home. Police in Jilin confirmed this morning that a 55-year-old suspect is in custody. They say the man stabbed all four Americans after one of them bumped into him. The State Department told CBS News it is aware of reports about the stabbing and is monitoring the situation. Roxana Saberi, CBS News, Mount Vernon, Iowa. Well, coming up next on Live at Four, an old disease and a new vaccine. We're sitting down with Dr. Jeff Potoff to discuss the resurgence of bird flu and a new vaccine to protect against COVID and flu. That's when Live at Four returns. You know you love it. You know you want it. And there's only one place like it where you can get it seafood like no other mad seafood boiler order online for delivery or dine in today upgrade your garage patio or basement this spring with our beautiful cutting edge concrete coatings our coatings are four times stronger than epoxy and guaranteed to increase your home's value for a limited time save up to 500 dollars off your project plus call during this program to see if you qualify for payment starting at just 30 dollars a month all month long here on Buzzed in Madison, we are celebrating Wisconsin farmers. That's right. This week, we're headed to Jazzy Jerseys in Lodi, and just maybe you'll get to see Lily right here on Buzzed in Madison. WISC TV3. Fjords has been crafting beautifully designed functional furniture since 1941. Every aspect of Fjords furniture has been carefully engineered to create a higher level of relaxation. Right now at the Century House, purchase any Fjords furniture and receive up to 20% off. All models, all sizes, all colors. Experience the unmatched relaxation you can only achieve in Fjords furniture. Relaxation made beautiful. Visit the Century House at 3420 University Avenue in Madison or online at centuryhouseinc.com. Well, they're iced up in the winter, they're foggy in the summer. Chips, cracks, and sacks can be quite a bummer. If you're not sure, then look for these clues, because you may suffer from the vinyl window blues. I'm Scott, the window guy from AHT Wisconsin Windows. Our windows don't ice up, fog, chip, crack, or sag because we use a solid core composite frame that's 400% stronger than vinyl. Respond now and save up to 20% at scottthewindowguy.com. Stanley Steamer is proud to be the leader in deep cleaning, cleaning over 1 million homes and businesses across America every year using powerful equipment custom built by us. We'll remove the buildup of dirt, dust, allergens, grime, and contaminants seen and unseen from your home and business. America's professional deep cleaner for over 75 years. It's not clean until it's Stanley Steamer clean. Stanley Steamer gets your home. From midnight tweets to drinking bleach to tear gassing citizens and staging a photo op, we knew Trump was out of control when he was president. Then he lost the 2020 election and snapped, desperately trying to hold on to power. Now he's running again, this time threatening to be a dictator, to terminate the Constitution. If I don't get elected, it's going to be a bloodbath. Trump wants revenge, and he'll stop at nothing to get it. I'm Joe Biden, and I approve this message. You know you love it. 
You know you want it. And there's only one place like it where you can get it. Seafood like no other. Mad Seafood Boiler. Order online for delivery or dine in today. Well, a couple of big stories are making news on the medical front. A strain of the bird flu never detected in humans before is now being blamed for the death of a 59-year-old man in Mexico. And there could be a combined COVID-19 and a flu shot. Moderna announcing positive trial results. But will it be ready for next year's flu season? Lots to discuss today with UW Health's Dr. Jeff Potoff. Hi, Dr. Potoff. Good to see you. Hey, guys. Good afternoon. Let's start with uh, the bird flu story. Yeah. This is one person, mm -hmm. uh, not in the U.S., it's in Mexico. Yep. And this strain is different from the bird flu strain that's affecting our livestock and chickens here. How is it different? Yeah, so uh, when we talk about influenza, we, we have these two letters. There's H and there's N, and that's how we describe it. So the bird flu we're seeing in the United States is h 5 and one, this bird flu is H5 and two. H really stands for um, how is the virus able to infect cells? So, um, you know, scientists can then kind of categorize influenza strains like that. Uh, N is kind of like how contagious will it be? So this one is just a little bit different than the one we saw in the US. Um, but for the most part, pretty similar. This individual in Mexico, there's not a lot of details. Uh, the interesting thing is they're not sure where this individual picked it up at, but at the same time, it sounds like this person was not a healthy person, maybe would have risk for more severe disease, uh, which look as, looks like what would happen in this case. Gotcha. So obviously here in the States, it is in nine states in, you know, mm -hmm. cows and poultry, yep. but the risk for getting it is still low? Yeah, risk is, is really pretty low. We don't see much transmission of uh, bird flu to, to human beings. I think if you want to look for the exceptions, it would be those people who have just really compromised immune systems. Uh, they'd be more likely to contract it and then potentially get more sick. Uh, when they've looked at um, the, the food supply, when we first started hearing about uh, H, uh, the, the, the bird flu in the United States, uh, they found fragments of the DNA in milk, but not actual virus that could make you sick. So if you're drinking pasteurized milk, no worries at all. Uh, and then likewise, you know, consuming beef, consuming poultry, that's all totally fine. You cannot get bird flu that way. That's very reassuring to hear. And federal officials are monitoring it and keeping an eye on all of this. Mm -hmm. All right, let's talk about uh, the Moderna trial. It's a phase three trial mm -hmm. of a combination COVID and flu vaccine in one shot. What, what, that sounds promising. Yeah, I, I think we're likely to see this, not for this flu season. There's still enough regulatory steps where I think we'll miss the window for this season. But in 2025, I think it's very likely that instead of having to get your flu vaccine and your COVID vaccine separately, you'll get them as, as one vaccine. Uh, the other thing that's really interesting is when they looked at the immune response to this uh, mRNA vaccine, which kind of was birthed out of the pandemic, uh, the, the immune response was much better than kind of like our, our old vaccines. Uh, so we might not only have a vaccine that covers both COVID and influenza, it might actually work a little bit better than what our vaccines traditionally did. Mm. And the side effects were seemed pretty minor as well that they reported. Yeah, I would say, you know, similar to, to other vaccines, uh, you know, local kind of irritation, pain in your arm. I mean, I think we've all experienced that. Uh, for some people, they'll feel a little funny after they get that shot as their immune system gets going. But uh, as far as like any uh, big adverse side effects to this vaccine, not really seeing it. Do you think it might increase vaccine hesitancy, though? That's been a problem with fatigue since the pandemic. I think, but, but if anything, I think now, if I know that I could just have to go in once and I can get it all taken care of, I might win some people over. I think there's some people who have just decided vaccines aren't for them, but for those that are looking to get their vaccine, um, I, I'm all about one jab instead of two. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what the timeline looks like? I think we'll see it available for next fall. It'll probably get approved sometime like this or sometime next spring, summer. It'll probably get its final seal of approval uh, and then it'll be available in pharmacies uh, fall of 2025. Oh. All right. That's very good, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and for the bird flu, just be careful of raw milk, right? Unpasteurized milk, like, never a good idea for a lot of reasons, but would be one way that you could probably get the bird flu. Okay. All right, but nothing to worry about at the grocery store. Nothing. That's good to hear. Okay, thanks, Dr. Potoff. Yes. We'll see you, see you next week. Around. You bet. All right, Alex, uh, take a look at your first warm weather forecast. How are you doing, Alex? Hey, doing pretty good there, Arma. And let's start off with the good stuff here in our forecast. As we plan your evening, temperatures sliding down through 70 by 8 o'clock, upper 60s by 10 o'clock tonight. It'll be a mild night tonight, an outside chance of a shower or a thunderstorm. Here on Radar 3000, 
There's nothing across Dane County right now. And our future track model, keeping things quiet overall across southern Wisconsin. An outside isolated storm can't be ruled out. But as I mentioned last night, this front that's moving through the area right now is fizzling. Where the front is still off towards the west, where we've had a little bit of sunshine out ahead of it, temperatures up near 80 degrees. But here in Madison, Dell's up towards Marquette and Green Lake counties. They had a couple showers and clouds today. That held those temperatures down to the upper 60s to right around 70 degrees degrees, but all in all pretty gorgeous. Now as we move into Wednesday and Thursday, alert day conditions for Wednesday evening, perhaps lasting into Thursday. I'll explain why perhaps for Thursday, as I started mentioning yesterday. First, the risk marginal from Madison, Platteville, Dells up towards Juneau and Adams counties. The primary risks we're looking at tomorrow would be wind and hail as a cluster of thunderstorms moves in from the north and from the west. Here's how that, could, how that could pan out. That area of thunderstorms up towards Juneau and Adams counties, over towards La Crosse and Viroqua, sweeping south and west, especially hugging areas from, let's say, Madison to the Dells and off towards southwestern Wisconsin. We have other weather models, too, that are suggesting that that very likely may be the outcome, is areas more over southwestern Wisconsin being the target for these repeated areas of thunderstorms. Could see some heavy rainfall as well. We call that training of storms. One storm, then another storm, then another storm. As we go into the wee hours of your Thursday morning, that moves off towards the east. That could zap a lot of the energy for redevelopment on Thursday. As we move into the afternoon, winds are already coming out of the north and from the west. That would mean we are behind the cold front. And that could mean, as we go on into Wednesday and Thursday, that Wednesday evening cluster of storms could impact Thursday. And that could actually take the severe risk south on Thursday, which I started first to mention yesterday. And I think that that very well may pan out. But we'll keep a close eye on it. That cold front will be absolutely key. And believe it or not, tomorrow night's storms bear impact on that cold front's passage on Thursday. After a brief cool down, if you want to call mid to upper 70s cool, that's pretty warm still for this time of year, but nothing in comparison to near 90 degree temperatures by Father's Day. It'll be steamy, warm, and humid. That spells the recipe for on and off thunderstorm chances all of next week, starting on Father's Day and carrying on through the rest of next week. And we could be looking at some alert days. It's a little bit early to pinpoint exactly when those better days for the stronger storms will be, but the first one weather team will be first to let you know when we have a little bit more clarity on other a potential for alert day conditions. We'll be back in a couple of minutes. Now at Menards, get an 11% rebate on everything for your next project. Keep your walls and trim protected with Scotch Blue Painter's Tape. This multi-surface tape can be easily removed without leaving behind residue. One-inch 60-yard rolls are only $3.99 after rebate. LeGrand allows you to charge your smart devices without needing bulky USB adapters and feature up to 40% faster charging. Right now, all stock outlets with USB ports are on sale. Save big money at Menards. Salon Pass Lidocaine Flex, a super thin, flexible patch with maximum OTC strength lidocaine that contours to the body to relieve pain right where it hurts. And did we mention it really, really sticks? Salon Pass, it's good medicine. Introducing Badgerscape Design and Landscape, your trusted full service landscape company in the greater Madison area. We offer expert design, installation, and maintenance services. Visit BadgerscapeDesignAndLandscape.com to schedule a consultation today. It's time for the Madison Parade of Homes, exclusively sponsored by Nuns. Don't miss your chance to tour 32 newly constructed homes filled with the newest trends and products. Go to MadisonParadeOfHomes.com and purchase your tickets today. Certain this is going to work? Nothing to it. For imprint certain? Certainty Matters. For imprint is your home for promo gear to wow clients and inspire your team. Check out ForImprint.com. For imprint, for certain. Learning to play better golf can be a challenge for anyone. So let PGA professional Joel Whites improve your play the fundamental way with simple one-minute golf tips. Fridays on News 3 Now at Noon. Brought to you by Vitense Golfland. First one weather team is tracking a chance of a thunderstorm tonight. The better chances for thunderstorms, some strong to severe Wednesday and Thursday. Details at 5. And after three separate shootings, we sit down with the Madison Police Chief to discuss gun violence in our own backyard. That's next at 5. Sunday after the Tonys, a difficult path to parenthood becomes a story of hope. I could see myself reading a story just like this 
to my child. How a local man's late night vision inspired his next chapter to do something good. Sunday on News 3 Now at 10. We'll take a look at this. Broken windows and worn out paint don't do justice to this one prodigious property. If you want to fix it up, it's all yours. You just got to be willing to literally pick it up and move it. Photos posted to Facebook by the Eastern Pennsylvania Preservation Society show the Hood Mansion in Limerick back in its heyday. The once gleaming exterior now in need of some serious love. The now rundown property was built in 1834 by John McClellan Hood. It boasts 17 rooms across 5,000 square feet. But the society is looking to get rid of it quickly, so act fast, Susan. Oh, I hope somebody takes that takes up that offer. Getting it moved, though, might be tricky. Yeah. Well, when you're stranded on the beach, you use whatever resources you can, and that's exactly what one California kite surfer did over the weekend. He used rocks to spell out help on the sand, and a private helicopter spotted the message and contacted authorities. The man was stranded on a remote beach south of Davenport Landing in Santa Cruz County. First responders said he got stuck when the tide started coming in. Officials say the surfer did not need any medical attention, and he is a very, very lucky guy. Very resourceful, too. We'll be right back. Madison Magazine's Best of Madison Readers Poll for 2024. Vote for the Best of Madison online today, including Harker Heating and Cooling, Best Duct Cleaning, Best Heating and Cooling. Vote for Harker Heating and Cooling and all your favorites today. Tens of millions of roofs across America are failing, wearing out decades early and leaking, oftentimes without you knowing about it, causing tremendous damage. Here's how you know you have a problem with your roof. Black streaking, your roof looks rough, or granules shedding off into your gutters or showing up in your driveway. Your roof is wearing out too fast and it's going to cost you a bundle. RoofMax makes your roof like new by strengthening and rejuvenating it. So give us a call and we'll give you a free assessment to see if your roof qualifies. Service and savings. It's Woodman's. Hi, Hi we're the, the Woodman's. Woodmans. I'm Clint. I'm Phil, saving you big time money on water. 32 packs of Niagara purified water or Chippewa spring water. $3.69 each or two for $7. Hi, Caruba. Hot, hot prices on water. $3.69 or two for $7. We buy in truckloads. No one beats our price. Better, better products, products better, better prices, prices, better service because we're employee owned. It's to everyone making time for life's best moments, let us celebrate with you. In Wisconsin, we love celebrating together. Big days or any other day. <laughs> so much. From hot and juicy to ooey gooey to oh my word. Oh my word. <laughs> Goobers! <laughs> Serving you a handcrafted meal that makes today. Today. Today a little bit more special. That's what fills us up inside. From Wisconsin with love. Welcome, Welcome to Delicious. To delicious. Yeah. We're looking for 200 homeowners this month interested in getting new landscape borders. Our borders are laid in one piece using a high-performance concrete mix, and we add fibers and steel cable to maximize strength and durability. Our cutting-edge materials and process ensure that your borders will not fade, discolor, or disconnect, and will look beautiful for years to come. And all of our borders are covered by our extensive lifetime warranty. Boost your curb appeal with easy-to-mow-around, long-lasting, beautiful landscape borders. Visit the website or call the number for your new borders today. At Harker Heating and Cooling, you can save a whole bunch of money when you buy an air conditioner. You know what's even better? Saving even more money when you purchase an air conditioner and a furnace at the same time. Harker Heating and Cooling. And that wraps up today's Live at Four. Armand is in the newsroom with a look at our coverage moving forward. Armand? Well, tomorrow on Live at Four, we're sitting down with Lisa Briggs from the Bruce Company to answer all of your planned questions. And next at 5, we continue our coverage of the mass shooting at the Lux Apartments. We break down the response from apartment management and the police chief next. Thanks for joining our Live at 4 program. We hope to see you right back here tomorrow. News 3 Now at 5 starts now.